Hello guys! Today I'm going to show with you how I prepared these little meal packages uh, for my friends. I know, I know we live in a digital world now and the old-fashioned way of meals is kind of dying but I'm just personally really really attached to meals. Ever since I was a little girl, I loved writing letters to my friends and when I was in high school, we had this little mail room at the gate of the school and everything addressed to the school would be delivered there and there was this old man who would sort all the letters according to your classes and every day at noon, I would just go there and try to look for a letter that's addressed to me so I, I guess to a certain point, I was writing to my friends every single day for like a whole year. I just really, really love the excitement when you receive a letter and you have no idea what's inside. And it just excites me so much more than receiving an email or like a WhatsApp message notification. <laughs> I know it might not make sense to some of you that how much the old-fashioned way mail excites me and I don't know I just I, I mean I enjoy the benefits and the convenience of the digital world but uh, I guess I just I really really love receiving mails and sending them so yeah until this day i still send mails to my friends and since i started doing art now my letters are not restricted to just letters they kind of involved into a small happy package of different things that i create like little paintings and lettering pieces some crafts and stuff so yeah so in this video i was doing kind of a uh, happy meal package for two of my friends and I was really really happy with everything <laughs> I ended up with. I really enjoyed the process of putting everything together and I tried to create something new for the first time and I was happy with the results. So I hope you enjoy the video as well and let's get started. First of all, <laughs> I don't know whether any of you guys know that I'm a huge cactus fan. So I have hand carved so many cactus stems and I decided to use them to make some little cards for my friends. Then, of course, I just had to make a hand lettered piece to each of them. Um, for this one, just in case I run out of space, I used a pencil to roughly sketch out the composition. Then used a pencil brush pen to write over it. I'm, I'm really a big fan of those big flourishes, but I'm so bad at flourishing and I really hope the card will end up looking nice so I didn't try out anything too crazy <laughs> this time so I just kept it simple and I'm quite happy with how they turned out <laughs> Recently I've also been really really into wax seal but there's just no way that I could have a wax seal for each of my friends initials so I decided I'll paint them while waiting for the first layer of the painting to dry I studied another little piece with my friend's dog's name on it because I used this font for uh, one of my other projects and she saw it and she said she really liked the font so I thought why not add another little piece with this font on it so since I'm already writing her initial on the wax seal I decided I'll just use her dog's name <laughs> once the painting of the wax seal dried I just used some gold paint to hand letter the initials on it and added some extra decorative lines to make it look really cool and I used this gold paint so when you look at the painting from the side it will have a shine to it i think that's really cool 
Then I just went over the edges with a darker color, so it would look like a shadow, and kind of gave the painting a three D effect. And after that, just add the strings, and I was done with this little wax seal painting. And I'm quite happy with how this turned out. I made one of these for each of my friends, but I only recorded one in this video. Back at this piece, I thought it looked a little bit empty at the bottom, so I decided to add another line to make it more kind of complete. And then I just started wrapping some washi tape samples around a plastic card. I really love washi tapes, and I'm so proud to say that all the samples I'm sending them are designed by me. So yes, all these washi tapes are designed by me, and I just can't wait to share them with all of my friends. After I'm done with the samples, I decided to try something new for the very first time, and I decided to make a waterfall card. Basically, you just need to cut out some cards of the same size, and then cut out a long strip that's gonna be the center part of the card, and fold it in half. After that, just use a ruler to mark out the placement of the card. It can be one centimeter apart or one and a half. It doesn't really matter. Then just fold it at each marking you just made. Then it's time to stick the cards on. Start from the very bottom one and stick each card according to the folding lines and try to align them perfectly. And you're almost done with the waterfall card. <laughs> All you need to do is just make a cover according to the size of your card and stick the back of the very bottom card to your cover. And yeah, that's how you make a waterfall card. It looks really cool and I'm sure someone will be amazed when they receive it, but it's actually very easy to make. I was really really happy that I decided to try this and I'm quite proud of what I ended up with considering it was my first time making it. And in order to make my writing show up better, I decided to add another layer of yellow colored paper so I could write my message on it. And I think it's really cool that I can send them this tiny mechanism <laughs> with my message in it. Of course, I was sending some of my own watercolor postcards as well. And that's about everything in the package. And it's time to start wrapping. For the postcards, I just used my regular Etsy packaging. So it was brown paper with a little wolf stamp on it. Then I just used some strings to tie it up. And I also had some stickers to send to my friends, so here I just got them and wrapped them as well. And for the stickers, I decided to use this tracing paper to wrap them. This packaging was <laughs> in fact inspired by one of the mail parcels I received from my friend. So I just used the tracing paper to wrap it and added some washi tapes to decorate it up. And since I already have 
my cactus stems here. <laughs> of course, I just had to use them and added some cactus to the packaging as well. Also, I had some rolls of washi tapes that I wanted to send to my friend. Some are designed by me, so I received a few samples from the brand. And some are just basic ones that I really like and I think she would enjoy as well. So yeah, for the washi tape, I just wrapped them up in some bubble wrap and didn't decorate it too much. Then I just sorted out the little pieces I made and I put everything that's handmade by me into a separate envelope. <laughs> and as I mentioned in the very beginning, I'm really really into wax seal lately. So I just had to add a wax seal to each of the packaging. I also just got some new wax seal beads and I was really happy that I finally got a chance to experiment with different color combos. One of my friends that I'm sending the package to is actually a very big cactus fan, just like me. So I decided I'm going to send her all my cactus stamps. So I just cleaned them a little bit and wrapped them in a bubble wrap as well. And that was everything I sent to my friends. I just wrapped them up in a parcel and wrote on the edges. And I set off to the post office. And all they're left to do is just wait and hope they'll receive it soon. I guess I always consider mails as a surprise because you don't know when they will come and you have no idea what's inside. So I'm always super excited when I receive something in my mailbox. So that's everything for today and I hope you like this video and I hope there are some male lovers out there just like me. Please do leave me a comment if you love sending mails as much as I do. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.